Oregon Department of Forestry has this 1983 part Navia Observer. We've had it since, in use since 1984 with the state, just about 40 years now. And three and a half years ago, it got retrofitted with a very high power FLIR thermal sensor and electro optical camera combined with a state of the art augmented reality video and mapping system, as well as military grade night vision goggles. What we do combining all three of them together that works so well is the pilots and the observers up front can spot the fires out in the woods much faster uh, while they're scanning. Once they see something they think might be a fire, they guide the observer in the back with the camera directly to that point that they see and can zoom in on it and be able to determine whether that is a different source of light or whether it's in fact a fire that we need to go and spot. And that is an extremely efficient system. So the Oregon Department of Forestry has a metric that we track and that's how many fires we're able to keep under 10 acres. Of all the fires that the multi-mission aircraft detected on ODF land, 100% of those fires were kept under 10 acres. In the 2022 fire season, we found 69 new fires, and 60 of those were during extreme fire danger, with a, a record for us in one night of 21 new fires found with our aircraft and system. Uh, we're bringing on new people the past three years and getting very proficient, and to our knowledge, we're the only ones in the country and possibly the world that are actually using a nighttime night vision goggle, FLIR, and augmented reality detection system, and the results speak for themselves. So the multi-mission aircraft is just a single piece in our early detection program. Uh, we also use smoke detection cameras, which are placed on the tops of mountain peaks in order to early detect fires. Um, and the whole goal of all these different pieces is to put fires out as fast as possible. The less resources that we have to use on a fire, the more money we can save our taxpayers. Catching them small, keeping them small, getting those firefighters on those fires by six o'clock in the morning because we found them between nine and three o'clock in the morning. That's what it's all about. Be able to be out there also for firefighter safety, you know, if there's stuff going down. It's uh, really a privilege to be able to be right in the midst of something that's so revolutionary in terms of using technology to, to fight the wildfire battle that's in itself changing all the time. And uh, it's very rewarding to be able to be in this sector, growing a program, and at the same time doing so much good out on the ground. So it's rewarding in a lot of different ways.